I want to welcome everybody tonight to Carrot Bars International webcast. My name is Cheryl Ann Gober. I live right outside of Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm going to be your presenter tonight. But I also have a special guest with me tonight. Her name is Miss Tammy Morrison. She's also a, a friend of mine that's locally right here in Nashville, Tennessee, and way back when, uh, almost four years ago, when I first started talking with Carrot Bars uh, about bringing, you know, this opportunity to the English-speaking nations of the world, Tammy was one of the first persons I showed the opportunity to. Um, you know, I shared it with her, and I asked her just simply, you know, Tammy, I need you to look at this. You know, she, I had a financial background. She did as well. And I said, take a look at this. And uh, I, I need your honest opinion, you know, and then we'll get back together and we'll talk, you know, in 10 minutes after after you hear it. And make a long story short, that was the beginning of what we see today. It is absolutely, our organization has absolutely grown to unprecedented numbers. And the majority of that growth we are experiencing just this past year, and it seems like each and every month, it just keeps exploding and over and over and over again. So life is good in Carrot Bars. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about the company tonight, and then we're going to bring Tammy in about midway, and we're going to let Tammy make her debut tonight to all of you. But uh, let me get started. First off, let's get some homework out of the way. You're going to see, a, if you're on the webcast, you're going to see a number on your screen that I like to share at the very beginning and I like to share at the very, very end because it is very powerful. This is a three-minute sizzle call that was created by one of our leaders, Mr. Joe Norman out of Worcester, Ohio. Many of you know Joe. Uh, all you football fans, he's a Hall of Famer from the University of Indianapolis, uh, or Indiana, excuse me, and he also played um, professional football with the Seattle Seahawks. But Joe did a, a, just an incredible three-minute sizzle call here for us, and this is your first key to sharing carrot bars with someone you know. But the number, write it down. If you've got a pen and a piece of paper, uh, piece of go ahead and write the number down tonight. It's area code 218-844-3182. It will ask for a pin code, and that pin code is 3010. Eight six four six, and if you didn't get it that time, I will be repeating it at the end, as well as giving you a website that you can go to where all this information that I go over tonight will be shown. So, let me go ahead and get this disclaimer out. Uh, the income projections that we're showing tonight are based in U.S. dollars. As many of you know, Carrot Bars is a German-based company. They're out of, uh, their headquarters are in Stuttgart, Germany, and they deal with the euro. And what we have done is we've con simply converted the euros in dollar amounts to make it easy for our partners in North America to understand. The action plan that we're using has mathematical examples that are dependent upon following the plan as described. Incomes are not guaranteed due to the fact that I can't or anyone else, no one else, can guarantee your efforts or the efforts of your team. The results can vary based on your activity and the activity of your team. And as we go through this presentation tonight, I think you'll see why so many people are having such with Carrot Bars International today. It's because of that last statement. Results can vary based on your activity and the activity of your team. We're going to share with you some really minimal numbers tonight and, and how you can earn a tremendous income with Carrot Bars International. Let me tell you a little bit about the company. The, the gentleman, the, the founder and CEO of Carrot Bars, his name is Mr. Harold Seitz. He lives in Stuttgart, Germany, and that is where our, our international headquarters is at. Harold is an absolutely wonderful man with a passion like no one else I've ever met in my life. But he had a vision. And when we started talking, this, you know, Carrot Bars was his vision. But you've got to stop and think. The gentleman comes from Germany. Germany has see, seen three 
currency crashes in the last 100 years. Now, he's heard stories from his grandparents, his parents. You know, he's seen the ups and downs in Germany. And he has a passion for people. And he's been in the financial industry for about 17 years prior to Carrot Bars. But he knew back in 07 and 08 something had to be done because, you know, history is our best foreteller of the future. And he knew that he had a lot of clients that he cared very deeply for. And he needed to devise a plan or come up with a plan to protect them through the sluggish economic times. Because, again, they've lived, they've breathed it, ate it, they have experienced it firsthand in Germany. So it became a passion of his. And what he knew is throughout time, 6,000 years, gold has always been the answer. Number one, it's been money. It's always been money for 6,000 years. And I know we here in the United States, we have uh, been conditioned to think that that paper in our pocket is money. And it's really not. It's really not. It's just a unit of exchange. But it is not real money. Real money is gold. And you stop and you think, you know, back in the 30s <clears throat> when they confiscated the gold here in the United States, you know, you, you think about the gold rush first. Let's think about the gold rush, you know, gold in America that had people going from the East Coast to the West Coast following that dream. You know, they sacrificed limb, disease, animals, the elements, everything to get out West to where they could get a piece of gold. So what was it that drove them with that kind of passion and that kind of energy to put themselves and their families through to cross this country? And sometimes I think we lose sight, um, I know I have, lose sight about things that we've learned in school, and then later on in life we start connecting why these things happen. But during that time, people were watching to get gold because they understood that gold was wealth, okay? Harold also understood that same philosophy, and, and it's always been. Back in the 30s, though, they started confiscating our gold, and the banks started telling us, just come on and bring your gold in to us. We're going to give you a piece of paper safe for you. The greatest lie ever told. <laughs> we will keep gold safe for you. That first happened in the 30s. You could actually go in and exchange your gold and let the bank protect it and store it in their vaults there in the bank, and they would give you a Federal Reserve note in exchange for the exact amount of gold or what the value of the gold was worth at that time. And the deal was that any time you ever wanted your gold, you were going to be able to come back and get it. Well, that started changing. And then they started confiscating all the gold in the country. And you couldn't own, starting in 1933, no one in the United States could own gold in any denomination over the 14-karat gold or jewelry-grade gold. You were allowed to have, as far as physical bullion, $100 worth of value of physical bullion in your, in your possession during that time. Now, it all went into the banks. Of course, it was supposed to prop the banks up. You know, it was going to secure our thing. You know, seems good on the surface because it was it was backed equivalent one to one. But as we move forward through time and we got into the 60s, we saw them devalue the paper to where it was 35 to one of the gold that was in the vaults. And then, of course, we moved all the way to 1971. <clears throat> when Nixon came in and took us off the gold standard, and from that day forward, our money has not been backed by gold. Harold believes in keeping gold in your possession or in a vault where you can go obtain it, and he believes <coughs> in producing small, affordable weights that are transaction-friendly in times of duress. Again, I loved it, you know, when people were dumping those douche marks out in the middle of the street and stealing the wheelbarrows because the wheelbarrow was worth more and they had the douche marks on fire, you know, because they were worth more for fire, you know, for fire or heat than were for the paper that they were written on. So he remembered these times and he knew that, you know, if this situation were to arise again, how are people going to go buy groceries? You know, how are they going to go get a tank of gas? 
to move around. And granted, you know, you can go get gold, you know, most brokerage houses sell anywhere from one ounce and upward, or they sell coins, different things like that. But he wanted something that was stable, something that was secure, and something that would protect like nothing else out there. So his, And he wanted to create those small, affordable weights of gold for, for you know, if something were to happen, that there would be an opportunity for you to transact easily, or for a better word, barter with your gold for different products and services that you might need. If you had one of those big one-ounce bars, can you imagine, you know, going to the gas station and saying, fill me up, and all I've got is gold because the money's no good, you know, our currency's crashed, you know, so how are you going to pay for it? You know, gold is the perfect product because it's always been money, but if you had one of those big bars, how are you going to, you know, pay for your product? Are you going to give them a whole ounce of gold for a tank of gas? Absolutely not. And you can't shave a little bit of it off and pay them that way. It doesn't work that way either. But that is the reason we came up and Harold came up with the smaller weights. They're absolutely, it's absolutely a brilliant concept, you know, in the last so seven or eight we have seen several countries get into trouble. We've seen Greece. We've seen Cyprus. We've seen Iceland. We've seen Zimbabwe. You know, it's, it's, it astounds me still that in mid 2000s, Zimbabwe's dollar was equivalent to the U.S. dollar. It was one to one. And as they, you know, came closer to 2010, 11, and 12, their currency collapsed. That dollar was used to be worth one to one, and then by the end of 2012, they were printing 20 trillion. You know, because it was just costing more paper money to keep up with inflation. So the value of their paper was going down. And it was cost, taking them more of that paper to buy simple things. And I think we can all agree we've seen that in, in just in the last five years. And I, I talk to people daily, and I go to the grocery store. Gang, I am never going to get over the fact that ground beef is running three and four dollars a pound. We're talking hamburger. What it, it doesn't have any business being three and four dollars a pound in this country, but that's called inflation. And what's happening is you earn your dollars. You know you're losing wealth because the value of that dollar continues to go down. But And it's going to take more dollars to buy the same product that you did five years ago. It's going to be that way five years from now or ten years. You know, prices continue to increase. And it's not that that cow costs any more money, you know, to cut him up and slice him up and make hamburger than he did ten years ago. But what's happening is... The dollar is devaluing right before our eyes. It's lost 97% of its value since the formation of the Federal Reserve in 1913. That is shocking to me. But tonight we're going to talk about a little bit about carrot bars. <clears throat> and I do need to say that carrot bars, they do offer the smaller weights. We deliver in over 58 countries. We're actually doing business in 90 countries. We offer free storage, or you can take physical possession of your gold from the first gram onward. We do have a very impressive customer and affiliate program. Tonight I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the affiliate program and a new 12-week strategy which will accelerate earning power. It's going to create weekly incomes very fast, and we're going to show you a way where you can receive free gold virtually every week. The Let's talk about it. We talked a little bit about it already, and I'm sorry, my voice is, is about to go tonight, but we're going to get through this. But, you know, like I was talking about just a few minutes ago, Harold's passion, this is what it really boils down to. The economy that matters the most is the economy in your own home. I think we would all agree with that. I mean, it's one thing to hear about all the debt all these countries have and all the problems all these countries have, but the one that really matters the most is what's going on in your household. You know, to, to me, at the end of the day and at the end of the week when we bring our money into our household, that's what's most important to me. That's what's on, you know, fresh on my mind is how do I provide for my family. Well, there are a few secrets 
out there, and it's what rich people know, and they desperately want to keep secret from you. I'm going to share a few examples. We talked about the confiscation of the gold back in the 30s. <clears throat> well, it didn't stop their gain. You know, there are people in the world, on the negative side of this, but there are people in the world that are looking to take your wealth. It's called greed. In a nutshell, it's called greed. But here's something that's very interesting. Back in 1964, when we think about the confiscation of the gold in the 30s, it didn't stop. Let's look in 1964 here. <clears throat> Minimum wage at that time was $1.25, so that would have been equivalent to five silver quarters per hour, right? Well, today, and this slide is dated 2-27-2013, if you had those five silver quarters that were minted back in 1964, their milk value today is worth $26.21. But what happened? You know, if our money was worth much for our labor back in 64, why is it worth so little today? You know, that minimum wage has not kept up with the value of precious metals. So precious metals protect your earnings generation after generation. In 64, we started seeing our governments and banks take our precious metals, even out of our coins, and taking the metal out and reproducing them with a lesser uh, type metal inside of them. But they started taking the silver. If you've got silver coins of our gold coins any time before 1964, you're going to see that they're worth quite a bit more for melt value than they are the actual um, face value that's on those coins. You have a lot of collectors out there on those coins today because of that. Inflation is the easiest way to steal your wealth by cheapening your money. And that's exactly what happened in that picture that I just showed. They cheapened our money. You know, our money used to be tied to that gold standard, and today it's not. And then when they did that, they cheapened our money, they took our wealth out of it, and that was the beginning of stealing your wealth through inflation. Now, here's a chart I like to show, and this is a good comparison about what money has done just in the last, you know, 40 years, just a little over 40 years. Let's look at this. An ounce of gold back in 1971, you could have got an ounce of gold. It's actually about $34.67, but let's round it off to $35, okay? 2013, I've got $13.50 on the slide, and today, the last time I looked, gold was running $1,409 ounce I looked today. But let's, let's just use these figures here. Well, if you had an ounce of gold back in 1971, it would have been worth, gas was 36 cents a gallon, but in gold, it would have been equivalent to $97, and, I mean, excuse me, 97 gallons, 97.22 gallons. Fast forward today, still got that ounce of gold, right? Gas is running 350 a gallon, big difference since 1971. But let's look at gold, what happened with it, real money. Real money, one ounce of gold today would purchase you 385.71 gallons of gas, and that's only using $3.50 as, as, as an example for what gas, well, excuse me, gas costs here in the United States. So look at a loaf of bread. Let's compare that value to the gold value. Have we still remained on the gold system? A loaf of bread in 1971 was worth 25 cents. An ounce of gold would have bought you 140 loaves. Well, fast forward to 213. I've still got that one ounce of gold. Price of bread in the store today is 235, roughly. That ounce of gold would have bought me 575 loaves of bread today. And what I'm getting at here, gang, is gold is inflation proof. It never loses its value. You know, when we see the price of gold go up, the price it doesn't mean that the value is really going up. The value has remained constant. The price, when it goes up, it is an, ex it's an example of you and the dollar losing its, its strength. The dollar is going down. Let's look at a car. It's a little bit more, you know, expert um, example here. But let's look at this car. 1971, the average car price of a car was $2,700. 
That sounds really good today, right? <laughs> but $2,700, if I had an ounce, it would cost me 77 ounces a go to get that car. That was what the price would have been equivalent to at $35 an ounce. Well, let's go today, and I'm using 30000 here as an example of an average car here in the United States in 2013. The Internet Act, so I'm being very conservative here. If that car was 30000 a day, it would be cost you 22 ounces of gold. You see how gold keeps its value? It, the gold value never changes. Your dollars do. That $2,700 you spent on that car in 1971 wouldn't get you very far today. Um, a lot of people are putting that, ga that in their gas tank in, in less than six months. So it's, you know, gold is where your wealth is preserved. Let's look at the home, $40,000 home. The equivalent price in gold in 1971, it would have been worth 1,143 ounces of gold. You could have purchased a forty. $40,000 home for 1,143 ounces of gold. Move up to 2013. A $225,000 home is kind of average right here in the United States today. It's equivalent to 167 ounces of gold. Look at the difference there, gang, on what you could have bought in 1971 versus what you can in 2013. You're seeing that direct correlation how fast your dollar is basing there. The last one here really bothered me. <laughs> it really did because income, the national income in 1971 was $9,111. Well, if you took that income and compared it with the equivalent of gold, your, in, your annual income was equivalent to 260 ounces of gold. Today, average country, $50,502. It's equivalent to 37 ounces of gold. So we have to stop and ask, where has our wealth went? You know, it seems like, you know, and we go, I went to sleep and I woke up and my money has disappeared or my wealth has disappeared. And that is directly related to the fact that we came off the gold standard in 1971 and we're experiencing extreme inflation over that time. Not only are, did they take the metal out of our coins, but it also affected the prices of goods and service day. It's a simple composition of wealth. And we wonder why we hear so much talk about the middle class is leaving America, you know, that we're going to a two-class system here, either the very rich or the very poor. Well, if you're like me, I had enough. And I think a lot of people have had enough, and they're looking for answers. You know, what do I do to stop the madness? You know, I mean, seriously, there has to be an option. Well, there is. It's all carrot bars. I believe with everything in me that carrot bars is the solution to the problems that we're having in the economy all over the world today. One of the problems with gold in the past is it was too difficult for people to buy gold. You know, if you called up a gold – if you knew how to call up a gold brokerage house and say, I want to buy some gold, you know, you're probably going to have to have come up with twenty five, fifty thousand 50000 even talk to you. There's only about, you know, 1% to 3% of the population around the world today are prior to carrot bars that's actually been able to, to buy bullion in those amounts. The rest of us, we had to deal with coins. We had to deal with silver. We had to deal with different – products to try to to, main, to to contain our wealth. But carrot bars has really made that all different. Back in, on July 1st, we started a program, and it's twofold. Number one, we're going to show you how to create an incredible income opportunity, carrot bars, but we're also going to show you how you can obtain wealth directly profits not as much out of your time. It will take it out of your pocket. But very quickly, your profits, not out of your pocket. And when you do that, I like to tell people, it's like you're walking out of one world that's completely controlled by debt, governments, laws, regulations, and everything you want to name it. You're walking out that life of death 
into a life of freedom because with gold, it's universal. You know, the market set the price. There's no certain country that sits and gets to dictate what the value. There's only so much of it made. So they can't print more of it. And the value constant. But on July 1st, we started a new program, and we were looking at a 12-week burst of record-breaking growth, record-breaking sales, record-breaking incomes. And we were decided that we were going to help, you know, Carrot Bars International <clears throat> and all of its members take our wealth back, and we were going to do it one gram at a time. Well, little did we know about the explosion that we were about to, that we were told. We have is a revolutionary pipeline mission, and this mission, and what we're showing is just simple basics about implementing the correct way to move money towards you and acquire economic freedom in 12 weeks. And I think two important things there. It's the correct way to move money, but not only that, move money toward you to acquire economic freedom in 12 weeks. In the previous slides, I showed how money was going away from you. Well, there is a way you can stop that madness and turn your financial world around by just simply knowing just a few little secrets of the wealthy. First off, the number one secret of the wealthy is what they all know is they pay themselves first. They know that their family and their situation is more important than any bill that they've got. You know, two generations ago, you know, our, our parents, our grandparents, they didn't deal with credit cards. You know, they didn't. They saved up their money. If they needed something, they saved up their money, and when they got the money, then they went and bought it. You know, we have two generations turned in we from a, one of the most prosperous, countries in the world and one of the strongest countries in the world and most respected countries in the world to the most debt-ridden country worldwide in two generations, guys, and it's because we started living in debt. And the key thing here is turning that around. You know, it's not of your wealth being taken away from you and you really, truly want financial freedom. It's really simple, but you have to make a commitment for that to happen. And the first one you need to make a commitment to is pay yourself first. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the movement of money. This is one of the first principles that the elite understand about moving money toward them. Now, first off, the movement of money it happens every day. You know, people get paid, money moves from the employer to their bank account. You know, the second time, you know, you get the money, then now you got to go pay your bills, you know. If you go to the ATM, grab some money out, you're taking it from the bank and you're moving it back into your pocket. Money is constantly moving. When you buy goods and services, you save, invest, whatever you're doing, money is moving around you all day. Now, depending on how fast or how slow that money moves, that is, that is equivalent to your economy. You know, economy is based on the movement of that money. If you're living in a sluggish economy, what you're finding out is a lot of people that may have money, but they're holding it tight because there's really no place to go put it to where they're comfortable with it and where it can grow. In a robust economy, there's all kinds of opportunities for you to grow your money. You know, one of the best examples of that growth is, you know, looking at this picture of the stock exchange. You know, not only do we have, like I said, the movement of that money, but one of the other secrets that the wealthy know is it also has to have velocity or that speed of that movement of that money, okay? Look at this stock exchange floor. You know, we've all heard the bells, ding, 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 ding. You know, they go off and everybody's happy. And there's papers everywhere, people screaming all day long. And, you know, it just looks like a madhouse in there. Well, that's a good thing. You know, you look at it the first time, you go, what are they doing? But then as you learn, you find out the more madness and the crazier it is in there, that's a good thing. That's when really we're making lots of money. You know, that means that that economy is moving. You know, because regardless if people are buying and selling on that market floor, those brokers down there are getting a piece of everything, whether somebody's selling or whether somebody's buying. So one way or another, they depend on the movement of money for their income. Okay, and that's what the secrets of the wealthy know as as well. 
But when those floors are quiet and you can hear a pin drop on the stock exchange store, gang, it's time to worry a little bit <laughs> because that's when people start losing jobs. They start losing retirement. You know, and we saw a lot of this happen in 07 and 08. They've tried their best you know, to implement different things like QE1 and QE2 and QE3 to stimulate that economy or stimulate that movement, it really didn't went nowhere. You know, we're a little bit better. We're not a whole lot better. And and a lot of that, for those really spending money in finances, we're worse off today than we were then because our debt in America today is close to $17 trillion dollars. Gang, that's a lot of money. If you stop to think what just one trillion was, and here y'all go, y'all search this out tonight and prove me on this. <laughs> prove me right. If you can't, you know, we throw words down sometimes, and we don't really stop at the exact meaning of those words. But a trillion dollars, what does that really mean? One trillion dollars. If you started counting right now, right now today, one, two, three, four, five. And you were going to count to one trillion. Do you know how long it would take you? Anybody got the answer? Y'all can tie it in down there. I know a few of you have heard me say this before because it's just mind boggling. But it's thirty four thousand years. <coughs> if you started the day without sleep, counting to one trillion, gang, we're seventeen trillion in debt. If every man, woman, and child in the United States, 100% of their income, they can't pay the interest. They can't. So what do they do? They keep printing more money or more paper, I should say. They keep printing paper because they keep trying to keep that system going on and on. And, guys, it's doomed. You know, history will tell you over 4,000 currencies have failed. The United States is in a better position than most because we're the Federal Reserve currency. And, yeah, they're going to try to keep it as healthy and as going as long as they can. But seriously, with numbers like $17 trillion in debt, it's not going to last forever. We're not going to be any different than any other country out there that's experienced these problems. It's going to happen. You know, we will end up with a new currency. I don't know when. I don't know if it's next month, next year, five years, or ten years from now. But, guys, it's coming. And Carrot Bars is about putting you in a position to where no matter what happens with that, you're protected and your wealth and your money is protected. The next thing is the wealth. Okay, we saw that the, the movement of money and the velocity of movement of money, you always want to get in that, that velocity because the more it's moving, the more you're going to get, catch a piece of, right? So let's talk about the, the third principle, positioning yourself to get in the way of move money. And I'm going to rush through this because I want to get Tammy on here. But let's look at this picture here. We see a picture of hospital staff. There's nurses, there's orderlies, there's doctors, there's surgeons, there's administrative staff, there's an anesthesiologist. You know, they all went to school to work in the health profession, right? Well, some of them went to school, you know, a little bit early, I mean, a little bit longer than the others did. So what were they doing? They were positioning themselves for the income that they expected in their adult lives, right? Well, the more time they put in, of course, the more money they put in for those student loans, you know, they should have gotten a higher-paying job, right? So they understand that you have to position yourself. Now, in, in the world, that's normally how much time, money, energy you put into your education. And I'm not saying education is a bad thing at all. I encourage it. Made every one of my kids go. <laughs> okay, I believe. You. But sometimes these kids are getting out out of school today with all of these big high paying degrees, and they can't find a job. And they're moving back in with their parents, you know. And the parents are already having their elderly parents come back and live with. They can't make it on Social Security anymore. But um, you know, so. Everybody dreams, school, I put in my time, I do this, I do that, I'm going to get a good job, and I'm going to be able to be comfortable the rest of my life and be able to put money aside, and me and my family, we're, we're, we're good, right? Well, that is true. But come payday Friday, 
let's just talk about some of those that only put a year in or two years in or five years in, you know, as school, as opposed to those that put 10, 15, 20 years in or 10 or 15 years in. You know, some of us position ourselves just to really get by, just pay the bills. We don't want to think about retirement. You know, that's too painful to think about because it's hard enough to get through the week now, right? Been there, done that. You know, and then there's others that position themselves to build wealth. And they knew that they needed a job that was going to produce more money coming in the home or more paper coming in the home than what was going out. And that's how you create wealth, right? Well, we've got a system that we're going to show you tonight that's going to do the exact same things. We're going to show you how you make money, how you get speed and the velocity of the movement of that money. We're going to show you how to position yourself to capture the biggest part of that and create wealth for you and your family. And it all boils down just with those main principles to this theory, not a theory, excuse me, this example of exponential growth. Now, we go over this chart every night and every day, but just think about it. You know, and I dare you to go out. You want to start a conversation with somebody about carrot bars? This is the perfect opener here. You know, walk up to a stranger and say, I got a question for you. You know, I want to ask you a question. If I told you today, Mr. Jones, I'm going to give you a million dollars and we'll hand it over to you right now, or I'm going to give you a penny and I'm going to do it every day for 31 days. See what reply you're going to get. Chances are, I mean, number one, it's a great conversation starter. You know, those that are financially um, literate, that has been around finance for a while, they'll give you the right answer, and they'll be the perfect customer for carrot bars. But no matter who you talk to, this example of exponential growth makes their mind start turning about how money does smooth and how growth does happen. And, and it sounds crazy at first, but when they see it and you prove it to them, they're like, wow, you know, gang, you just gained you a new carrot bars friend when you show them this and just bring up this simple, simple question here. But let's see what happens. And I'm not going to go through all the numbers, but let's just look at it. Penny doubled every day. Day one, of course, that penny's worth a penny. Day two, I doubled it, it's two cents. Day three, it's four cents. Day five, it's 16 cents. We go on all the way up to day 15, $63.84. Well, that guy on the street that took that penny, you know, he's starting to question himself. Going, Man, I could have had a, a million dollars. And he's, you know, we said, just hang on. Just sit back, have some patience, sit back, let's watch what happens. We'll go up five more days and see this guy again. So now his penny's up to $5,242. He's still scratching his head going, man, did I mess up? You know, did I mess up? gentleman says, well, let's just see what happens till the end of the month. Remember, it's 31 days, okay? It's not 15, it's not 16, not 20. It's 31 days, 31-day plan. So anyway, he meets him again back on day 25, on the 25th day. Now the penny's gone to $167,772.16. Well, the guy's like, well, you know, this is pretty good, but I really, you know, that I passed up a million dollars. He can't get past that. And the gentleman says, that's okay. You know, 31-day plan, not a 15-day or 20-day plan, but 31-day plan here. And he said, let's meet back up in three more days. Now let's just see what happens. Well, another on day 28. That penny has now doubled to one million three hundred and forty two thousand one hundred and seventy seven dollars and twenty eight cents. Crazy. And the month's not even over yet. So then we get up to day thirty one. Now that penny has grown to ten million seven hundred and thirty seven thousand four hundred and eighteen dollars and twenty four cents. You know, this to me is a part of that vision and perseverance and understanding math equations. And just when you couple all of these things together, some pretty exciting things will happen. Now, what we're going to talk about tonight, I think I'm going to bring Tammy in here right now. I'm going to get a drink of water. <laughs> and I, I know, I'm Tammy, trying to clear my throat. Are here tonight? Yeah, I'm here. Can you guys okay. hear me okay? Where are you from? Everybody hear me? We can. Awesome. Um, yep. We've talked a lot of it tonight about exponential growth and 
and getting in the way of the movement of money. And it kind of reminds me of a book I read one time, and I can't remember the name of it, but it, it, in it it said there were three stages of marketing. Um, you know, the first being that it's not worth it stage. And this is where you're, you know, you're putting a lot of time and energy into your business. You're out there working as hard as you can, but you're not making as much money as you think you should be. So a lot of people stay in that stage, but then there are those that stay with it and they get to stage two where it's worth it. And that's the, where you put the time and the effort you're putting in directly correlate with the money you're making. So once you get to this stage, the, the third stage is the I'm not worth as much stage. That's where everything that you did in stage one and everything that you did in stage two finally starts to pay off. They all come together, and you're making that type of money that you only dreamed about. And that's what's happening here with Carrot Bar. So, um, you know, many people never get to stage three, or it takes them many, many years to accomplish that. And that's why I'm so excited about this 12-week program, because if you can follow this system, and find others that will do the same in 12 weeks, not 12 months, not 12 years, you will be in stage three, the I'm not worth this much stage. So let's talk a little bit about our system. We have four very easy steps for you to complete. Um, step one, enroll in and create your free Carrot Bars account. Step two, immediately acquire a business package. As you can see there, we do have um, the four showing. There's a silver in there as well. There's actually five packages. We're going to talk about four of those tonight. Step three, pay yourself first. Make sure that you're moving to your savings account. Taking your funny money out of your left hand pocket and putting it into your gold piggy bank. Um, and then also, and we want to find two people that see what, what you see in this system that are going to create and repeat steps one, two, three, and four. So that's all we need to do with that. So let's go into the packages and, and we'll get through this really quick because I know we're running you know kind of long this evening. Uh, the first package that we have is the bronze digital package. It will cost you about um, $130 to participate with, with bronze package package. Um, on week one, you're going to complete those four steps, and you're going to earn a whopping thirteen dollars. Now, how many people are excited about that? Not too many. But at week two and week three, you see that you earned zero money. And why is it that you're earning zero money? Because week two and week three, you're taking the time to help those two that you brought into the company find their two. You're building that foundation that you, so you can have the strongest house available. By week six, though, look at that, that $65 that you were taking out of your left-hand pocket and putting it into your gold piggy bank, you're actually earning that money. So you're getting perpetual free gold. And then we get up to week 10. And this is what I call the I'm worth this much stage. You know, you're making $1,131 a month. That's a pretty good income for a lot of people. But by week 12, you're up to $44.85 a week. Guys, that's over $230,000 a year if you did nothing but follow the steps and your team did the same. So let's go into the silver package. Silver package is about $300. It's about $170 US more than the bronze package, but guys, I'm telling you, you can earn four times the money with the silver package. Um, week one, same thing. Enroll your free account, immediately purchase your package, put $65 a week into the gold piggy bank, and find two others that will do the, the same. The first week, seven dollars. Second, two weeks or week two and week three, you don't earn anything because you're still building that foundation. But now, in week four instead of week six, you've earned a hundred dollars. So not only have free gold for that week, there's thirty-five dollars left over. So let's go up to week nine. You earn twenty-one hundred a week. Now it's time to up. Great. Let's go ahead and get a gold packet because I want to upgrade to that gold package. And then by week 12, you're looking at $17,250 a week. Are you making that kind of money right now? You know, is your boss even making that type of money? Um, moving on, we're going to go to the gold package. It's going to cost you about $750. Week one, you're going to make 40 bucks. Week two, week three, you're going to continue to build that foundation, and then on week four, you 
get perpetual free gold plus about not real good at math there, $85, $90 to left over. Um, when you get to week nine, $3,150, time to upgrade to that VIP. Um, by week 12, you're looking at $25,875 a week. As it's over $1.3 a year just by following the system and finding people that will follow the system with you. So let's move on to my favorite. How many VIPs? Type it in on the left-hand side if we got VIPs in the house. All right. So week one, that's awesome. Yeah, baby, I love it. All right, in week one, you're going to complete four steps, and you're going to earn $53. Not a big return on a $2,000 investment. But way to get so much better. Week two and three, you're going to be building your team. You're going to be building that foundation. And on week four, you earn $200. So now, no longer are you taking that $65 a week out of your left pocket, putting it into your gold piggy bank. You're going to get it for free. Where else in the world? Does anybody know anywhere in the world that's going to give you free gold? Anywhere. Type it in if you know it. That's exactly right. Nobody. All right. So by week seven, with the money you earn by week seven, you've pretty much paid for your package. You're seven weeks in. You've gotten your money back from your package, and that's when the real money starts rolling in. All right. So week nine, you're at 4200 Look at week 12, guys. $34,500 a week. That's $1.7 million a year over that. Now, remember when we went back to the I'm not worth it stage? I want each of you to take a good hard look at yourself and how hard you're willing to work and how focused you are and ask yourself, am I worth that? And I can tell you all, absolutely you're worth it. So... Let's move on to the next slide. Remember those numbers that we talked about? Those are only if everyone in your organization came in and bought a bronze package. So in reality, your earnings could be so much more. So what do you need to do right now? Enroll your free Carrot Bars account to position yourself. Immediately acquire a business package. This is the key that opens the vault to the dual system. This is how you make your money. You're going to move $65 a week into your gold piggy bank because as money moves, people get paid. And then what you're going to do is you're going to team up with two other like-minded, focused individuals that will do what you do. Now, how many, com how many companies have you ever been with that have rewarded people for saving, not spending. Instead of ending up a garage full of lotions and potions, you're going to get a garage full of gold. Guess what, guys? We get paid every Friday morning clockwork. All right. We have the most gorgeous card in the world. I love, love, love using this card. It's so pretty. It's the most versatile debit card in the world, and it's loaded every our commissions. It was recently voted the best design of the year in Europe. I love whipping it out to pay for things because people look at it and say, well, get that. And, you know, it kind of doesn't hurt if you drop a gram of gold down there so they can look at the gold and say, hey, where'd you get that? So your MasterCard can be used anywhere. It's a great way for affiliates to exchange earnings into gold. It's a great way to pay bills. Um, go to the ATM, get your money out, whatever you want to do. It's just really, really good. So the key is that you want to, I think I missed the slide there. There it is. Hold on. The key to all this is get in, get started, and get committed for 12 weeks. Because in 12 weeks, you, my friends, can be free, not just 12 weeks older. So I encourage everyone, if you're a guest on this call, if someone invited you to this call, congratulations, because this is the opportunity of a lifetime. 
If you didn't invite someone to this call, make sure that you get somebody on this call tomorrow at 12, East, 12 Eastern or 9 p.m. Eastern and get started today because as we always say, hesitation can be hazardous to your account. So now I'm going to turn it back over to Cheryl. And she's going to tell you about a freedom celebration we're having in Nashville, Tennessee, in October. I hope to see so many of you there. We're going to have an incredible time. So back to you, Cheryl Ann. Thanks, Tammy. Great job. Tammy's going to start a weekly presentation for us. Tonight was her debut, and you did a great job, Tammy. And I appreciate giving my voice a rest. It has it's had a workout today. <laughs> but we are going at the end of this 12 weeks to financial freedom, we'll be having a, a celebration right here in Nashville, Tennessee. It'll be held at the Gaylord Opryland Resort and Hotel. I will show you a video here in just a second as it close. And it'll, if it don't get your blood to pump, and I don't know what will. But gang, we're going to have a ball here in Nashville. The leaders are going to arrive on October 24th. We'll be here through the, the whole weekend, October 24th. If you want to come a few days early, you know, please know that we're going to be here. You can meet with us. We can't wait to meet you, hear your stories. The grand finale will be Saturday night, October 26th, beginning at 6 p.m. It will be at Opryland. And, gang, you need to come just to see this place. It's one of the top 100 hotels in the world. Tammy can tell you, and even the locals go here with their mouths hanging wide open going, wow, I mean, this place is fabulous and we want to experience that with you we want to welcome you to the city that we know and love we're known as the music cap of the world not the country music anymore the music capital of the world we've got a little bit of everything here um so we want you to come experience nashville with us the ceo and founder of carrot bars international mr harold will be here in person, you've got to come meet this man. You know, I could probably talk for hours when I get on him and how incredible he really is. And it's, I can sit and talk. You can meet him. And in three minutes, you will know that everything I said is an understatement to his integrity, his character, and his passion and his love for affiliates in this organization. Please come out and see us. All you have to do is go to your back office, and right up under your dashboard, just scroll down a tad in the latest news, and there is a link. Go ahead and get registered, because these seats are filling up very quickly. It is limited seating. Gang, you don't want to miss this. You ju I'm just telling you, you don't want to miss it. We're going to have a small presentation by Harold in the beginning, and some of your leaders that you see on all these presentations each and every day, twice a day. And we're all going to be there. You're going to get to hear direct from Harold Sites himself in English, as well as Thomas Schreiner. He's also going to be coming from Stuttgart, Germany. He's the director to America. So they want to share with us. There will be some awards and some accolades given out that evening and in Nashville style. We're going to close it up with some great entertainment. So, you know, come on down, join us. We're going to have a blast. I do not want you to miss this because you are going to kick yourself if you don't make plans to be here. I've got people on this webcast tonight that are coming. Alby, you're coming. Australia, guys, Australia. We've got South Africa coming. I know our affiliates right here in America are going to get into this thing, but you better hurry because I'm telling you, the seats are filling up fast. Once you register, all the pertinent information will be right there for you. If you need anything, it will direct an email to me, and I can help you any way that I possibly can. But I can't wait to see each and every one of you. I want this celebration. It's called a freedom celebration because of you. And you're, this is not about me or Tammy or or Harold or anybody. This a cel this is a celebration of you achieving your financial freedom. Gang, you're hearing it. It's not just me hearing it every day. Y'all are hearing it. You're hearing it from your peers that are on your team. You understand that this program works. These numbers do not lie. 
follow those principles, movement of money, velocity of the move. Get in the way of the movement of money. Position yourself. And when you're positioning, I don't care where you start. If you want to come into the Bronx, come on in. Get started. That's the important thing. Get started on your road to financial freedom. You know, it happened centuries ago where there was a group of people that were locked in slavery in Egypt. Gang, they took a trip. And it was called the Exodus. <laughs> and they separated themselves from a life of slavery and debt. And they went into the promised land. And I know each of you want to be in that promised land because it exists. All you have to do is follow those simple, basic steps of, simple, of the system. And you're in. You're on your way. You've made that commitment. I'm done with living in debt. And it's a whole lot more fun on this, Tammy. Absolutely. I hope you can still hear me. Yes, I can. And I know a lot of you out a lot of you out there are saying the same thing. We want you to join us. Join us over here in the land of financial freedom gang. We're having a blast. Um I'm going how many of you like to have fun? I did this last night. Pastor I missed it. Uh, uh, I know we got a lot again? of fun people. I'm going to do it again, Tammy. You're going to do it again, going, really. Before I you know, it, it's not only on Facebook. It's on Twitter. It's on um, YouTube. It's on everywhere. It's on blogs all over the world. So just go right ahead because I took one for the team. It's going to go viral. And this <laughs> I team took is going one to for the team. Viral. I want to introduce y'all to the lady and the speaker tonight. Uh, many of you, if you've never seen her or you've never met her, uh, she did a video for us, and I want to share it with you right now. Like this, and I don't talk like this. Hi, y'all. This is Tammy. About this business I'm about to get in, and uh, I just had a hankering to do a video so I could tell y'all about it. Um, me and my my Earl, that's my old man, you know, we're really hoping this works out. Because we was down at the dump the other day, and we found this school bus. Now, it is all rotted out, and and it doesn't run or nothing. But we figure if we clean it up real good and stick it right there on the back of the trailer, it'd make a heck of a bonus room. I'm really excited about it. Now, I can tell you, I don't know a lot about this business. All I know is what I've been told. Is the dollar is crap, and gold is good. So... Bubba, get them pigs out of here right now for I tan your hide. All right, sorry about that, folks. He's always doing that kind of stuff. Well, anyway, I've been working with these two hot shots. One of them's named Albie, and I think he's from Australia. And the other one's named Lawrence, and he's from South Africa. <laughs> Imagine that. I didn't even know there's North Africa. You know, I didn't make it far past the fourth grade, so I'm not even sure those are countries at all. But they seem to be pretty good folks, and so I guess I'll keep on working with them. But anyway, Earl, make sure them hog jaws don't burn now, okay? All right, guys, I am so sorry about that. Well, anyway, and what about their names? Albie and Lawrence? What the heck is that all about? I don't know. But anyway, all I'm doing is I'm trying to learn as much about this business as I can, and I'm going to try to promote it as best I can. Uh, and who knows, next year we may be able to buy us a double wide trailer. That's what I'm most excited about. So how about you? You ready to get started? I sure hope so. I'll talk to you real soon now. Bye. Well, that's the fun side. Who knows we don't have fun in this business? <laughs> you know, we've got the greatest family. Thank you, Tammy, for so much for taking that it for the team. Hey, you uh, got it. it. Is Priceless. For the team. <laughs> it is priceless. Uh, it's went worldwide but, now that you've sent it to everybody that was on the webinar today. So. <laughs> it, yeah, it was absolutely on the German webcast. Well, the video didn't show, but we were talking about it on the German, Czech, Spanish webcast today. <laughs> and, uh, gang, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate each and every one of you. I'm you know, I wish Pastor Di come up. I know he's having some audio issues over there. He's getting that resolved. But God bless you, Pastor Di, for being here so faithful with us every night and all the rest of you. And more than anything, thank you, guest, for coming. And we're going to be back here tomorrow 
at uh, 12 noon Eastern, 9 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow is Payday Friday, and in the morning we will have Selena Brantley at the 12 noon um, webcast, carrotbarswebinar.com. And then we also have tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Mr. Robert Payne from Wisconsin. He will he loves Payday. Hey, Friday. He gets so excited presentation on Friday. But he'll be here with us tomorrow night. Gang, get out. Share the message. You know, bring some of your guests tomorrow. You know, play that sizzle call at carrotbarsintro.com. You will find all that information. And, um, you know, be able to share it with your friends. If nothing else, and you don't have a laptop or an iPad or a phone or whatever near you to share this, and that three minutes, so ask them. You know, if I, if I gave you a million dollars or a penny a day, start conversations, guys. That's how easy this is. Walk up to somebody and start a conversation. You never know whose life you're going to change. And and trust me, the people that I have talked to, and I, I Boomer cried last week because he's so appreciative that Joe Norman shared this with him. So... Be a blessing to somebody. Get out, live life, live it with a passion, guys. Bless somebody and show them a way into the land of freedom financially with their, not for just this generation, but generations to come. And Carrot Bars can do that for people. I'm going to get back on a more serious note here. And I think all the questions, I think Les has done a great job in there tonight. Uh, taking care of the questions, but I'm going to play a real quick video, video, scan through it. This is Nashville. If you haven't registered, gang, you need to because Tammy's going to be here. So y'all come on out. Here's your little video of Nashville.
want to see you there. You know, bring guests, do whatever you need to do, but just get to Nashville. We're going to have a, like I said, it's a celebration. This is not going to be a meeting after meeting after meeting. We're going to have one. The rest of it's fun and games, and it's all about celebrating you. Right now, some of the information that we spoke about tonight in the schedule can be found at carrotbarsintro.com. As I close the meeting tonight, it will take you directly to that link where you can write that sizzle call number down one more time and get the daily schedule so you can bring your guests tomorrow. So with that said, I am going to officially close the conference tonight. God bless.